Hi everyone, uh, just finishing off a box of, uh, I'll just show you the flies here. These are what I call a box that would do. There's a, a method used called the sweep. Now, the sweep is the, obviously, uh, allows that the method that is to sweep your flies up in a, like a curve like uh, motion using the flies to control that, that fishing method. Now, being the to help the sweep itself, um, you would put like a buoyant fly in the point, and then you'd have a couple of comments or dialbacks, buzzers, that type of thing, uh, and you can even put one of these a blob or something in the top dropper. There's different ways of doing it where you're fishing three or four flies. Now, uh, one of the main ways to fish and very popular is to put. Obviously, the, the booby in the point or a fab. A fab has this is a blob with a foam at the back, uh, which helps to keep it up. It just slows the fly and allows you to sweep the flies. Comments are some of the best patterns to use. There's many out there, and uh, I've, this is only a small selection. There's some mainly black. Comments are black. Now, what you're doing with the comment is if you imagine your best buzzer and you put a nice soft wing on it, like this is the tips of a, a marabou feather dyed black and uh, it gives the fly a tiny bit more movement uh, and more attractive to the fish. Uh, so it's just basically putting uh, a wing on your, your buzzer. So if you've got a favourite buzzer, put a wing on it to give the impression that it's giving a wee bit more movement rather than it's just a straight or a very motionless fly unless you actually tweak it or twitch it. or uh, But most times Believe it or not, fish will take it just on even a hang. I mean, it depends on the, on the day, the fish will take it a certain way. But the, these are very popular, especially in the competition anglers. And uh, in this case, I've, died some, I've tied sorry, some olives. Uh, the olive versions, as much as a ginger, this ginger one here is one I did myself. It's, it's basically a, a dull back, but instead of having a, this uh, brown light wing, uh, sorry, throw it and tail. I've used the marabou uh, for the wing, so the tips, I always use the tips for that. But anyway, I'm going to be tying uh, basically uh, uh, one of the cormorants. This is a, it's got a good wee tying methods or so in, in the fly that I'm sure you, you'll like. And you can mess about with the colours, but this is a great fly, so we'll zoom in and we'll tie the fly. Now, what I'm going to be doing, um, I'm going to be using... This is a Glowbrite uh, floss number 11. This is a fine, fine floss. It's equivalent to a 6 type thread, um, which I'm going to use for the tag at the back. And basically tie the tie part of the fly. And then I'm going to finish off with, a, in this case, a fire orange head. So just to tie the finish the fly. Now, hook choice is up to yourself. Uh, very popular hook is this one. Especially in black flies, or in most flies, but in black flies especially, the black nickel. This is a competition heavyweight, size 10. Now, I say it's quite simple to, uh, to tie. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start at the eye, come down, and the way down, I'm actually going to use the waist piece, but I'm going to double it. So, at the very end of the waist piece, I'm going to catch it in, in the way down, and then double up on the actual floss. And keeping it on top, just work my way down. Now you can take it, you can come short. I usually like to leave the bend in these because all a lot of these uh, competition flies, the, the D barb. So uh, if you're on barbless, you want to get as much of the bend as you can. So if you leave a decent space at the back where you can get your pliers in or your fingers in to let, the, let it go. Now, what I'm going to do here, the reason I'm wanting this waist piece here is to reform in the tag. So what I do is I come down and then I come back up, depending on the size of the tag that you want. In this case, it's a good couple of mil. I just bring this over the top. That basically locks in, stops your tag getting drawn off or pulled back. So hold it. Now, you could put a wee touch of orange on there or a resin, whatever you like. Now I'm using a silver wire to protect the body. So I'm just going to catch this on, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run up. Just want to thicken the body a wee bit. Come back down. 
and we tie in some peacock herald dyed black. And this is just this packet's coming to an end. This is this is from Veniers. It's just a kind of strung dyed black. There's not much left on it now, but anyway, we'll use it up. They don't need perfect. These will still do, um, even though the fibres look like they're well worn, but these are ideal. It's just coming to the end of the packet, you'll get the smaller ones. So anyway, we'll catch these in. Oops, try and catch both of them at the same time. Just work your way back up. So I've got a nice taper in the body, I want a, a decent taper in this fly. It just looks better for me. So what I'm going to do with the peacock kernel, I'm actually going to wind towards myself. The wire's going to, when I bring the wire up, the same way I wind my floss or thread, I'll catch it in far better. So we come up to about a head length away from the eye. To catch this in, we must come across the herald with a turn and a turn on the hook. Do the same again, just to lock them in. Turn that away. And then bring the rib up through and you'll see the silver wire. This is a small silver wire. So we catch this in with two or three turns. You can bend and break that off. Now what I'm going to do is change to, this is a, the Fire Orange Unithread and 8 So I'm going to change that over to that and come over the top of the, the floss to make sure it's nice and tight. Now you'll see that it helps to keep it nice and bright by winding over this light coloured floss or the chartreuse coloured floss. So you've got that, two tone, two colours, good aiming points, the head as well as the, the tag. Now for the wing I'm going to be using the tips. This is the tip of a black marabou feather. It's very soft, very mobile and uh, it just works really well. It's, I mean you could use just the marabou itself, a lot of people do that. So you're going to take the tip out a wee bit. See how much marabou, much, much you see here. Yeah, it's a wee bit too much. I want it quite light, so it's more like a midge like. So I'm just taking it a wee bit more. Don't throw that away because you can add that into another fly. Length is basically up to yourself. It could be kind of good wing length, or it could be just to the back of the hook. So over there, so I'm just taking it to the just slightly by the back of the hook there. I catch this on the top, just pinch and loop. Three or four turns, make sure it's nice and tight. Trim away. Make sure you wax your thread. It's going to build up the hair a wee bit. And I'm going to put some jungle cock eyes on it. Now you could use uh, goose bites if you want. Now you have jungle cock. It's, this is a perfect one that if you look in your cape, you'll always find split. Jungle cock. You can use up the small eyes or just use up all the split ones. I usually uh, use up the split ones first. Now I'm going to lay these so they're on the side and, and on the hook. So I'm just splitting it between the eye, between the head, sorry. Just using that to separate them. Set them on the side. Just going to see how they're, how they're looking like. I may come down a wee bit. You can move these around to suit yourself. If they look good and you're happy with it, just leave them. I want to get the more midge-like sort of wing buds using these rather than eyes, because they're more like a wing bud. So what I'm doing here is then winding towards the eye and folding this back. And then just build up the head with the thread. I want a nice bright head, so don't worry about it. So, to get to this point here, now I'm going to see if I can tear the, the jungle cock off. Maybe that. But sometimes it tears off perfectly and sometimes it doesn't, so... If you can tear it off, you get a neater cut. What I'm doing here is I'm just getting a nice head. Maybe a whip finish. There you go. Just forming the head there as a finish. And there we are. Now all we have to do, I mean the quickest way to get a nice shiny head is to 
and I like, like to tap it with the super glue which dries within a minute or two nice and hard, nice and sort of hard uh, the super glue dries dries quick so it keeps the head quite bright as you can see once that's dry then a coat of varnish you've got to varnish it once you do that because if you don't the super glue goes it's a kind of blooming effect it goes white uh, it's moisture it does that so by varnishing over the top seals it keeps it as bright as a button as you can see so there we are that's uh, one of the comments i've been tying uh, nice pattern simple to tie and and really does if you're running if you're fishing a mid hatch anywhere in the world and you're fishing the lakes and you want one of these flies say on your cast you need a wee bit extra movement and this is the type of fly you're looking for so anyway i hope you enjoyed that and again thanks for watching